Hey what is up everyone welcome to another video this is the second part with Asif who's doing masters in engineering management at San Jose State University like always I'll leave the timestamp right here so you can skip to any part of the video you want to in this video we focus on what is the course structure for engineering management at San Jose State different internship uh, Asif just graduated from San Jose State University so we talk about his first internship which we which he got at FedEx uh, before that he also had an internship he, which he had to let go and then now he's moving into business analysts and data analysts how he's making that switch to that role a lot of value I hope you enjoy this video if you haven't subscribed consider subscribing because every single subscriber and comment means a lot to me and encourages me to make more valuable content just like this one and now I'll let you enjoy the video. Uh, let's do a quick round of intro like you know tell us uh, where are you from and when did you come to United States what do you do? Okay, okay. so I'm currently a graduate student uh, majoring in engineer engineering management and at San Jose State University. Uh, I'm basically from Pune, Maharashtra. Uh, I did my undergrad in uh, at Mar Maharashtra Institute of Technology and in Pune. Uh, after that uh, I had I have I had like two more than two years of experience in supply chain management business analysis field. Uh, I came here in fall 2018 and currently I'm in my last semester. How many core courses did you have and how many electives did you have? I had uh, two prerequisites uh, that, I, that I had to take in first semester. Uh, those were about uh, operations planning and control and uh, I don't remember exactly mm. uh, but I think it was about systems engineering. Seven to eight core courses. Wow, seven to eight. Yes. That's a lot. Uh, so, and, and you're saying that seven to eight are diversified in different fields. Yes. The one more thing, uh, the engineering management student, they have to take business courses too. And for that, they have prerequisites. Mm. They have to uh, complete two extra courses before that mm. and those were about uh, e econ 1 and econ 2 they have e uh, they have mentioned that on sjs website right. so once they complete that econ 1 and econ 2 course they can opt for they can choose uh, business courses here in third or fourth semester god okay yeah. i know now that you're interested in business analysts and data analysts how did you make that switch and like how did you know that this is what i want to I did my research about business business analytics jobs. I did my research about data science jobs, supply chain management jobs, project management jobs, product management jobs, and the the most the field that that fascinated me that time when I when I came here was business business analytics mm. because it has like different uh, pro software that I need uh, like SQL, Tableau, data visualization uh, yeah. softwares like that. And that fascinated me a lot. That's why I chose business analytics. So what, like, give us an example of a course you took for business analytics and what kind of assignments did you have over there? Uh, in my third semester, I chose, I, I took a course of the introduction to business analytics and where I got to learn our language. Mm -hmm. And uh, honestly, I, I have never, I, I, I didn't have any kind of experience about programming. Right. Know, like official programming, like yeah. software in there that they do. As exciting that it sounds it's it's really it's really difficult yes, yes. <laughs> you have to be you have to do the that daily practice you know like would you recommend people to come to san jose for engineering management or data analytics absolutely in talking in terms of money in talking in, in terms of job location uh, job opportunities uh, talking in terms of course uh, coursework talking in terms of people here i think i would i would absolutely recommend san jose state uh, to indian students you know yeah yeah i 100 percent agree i i also a lot of good indian food and bollywood movies <laughs> exactly yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. all right uh now we're gonna move on to our main internship uh, i know you had internship uh, last summer and mm -hmm. uh how did you find it like what was your job search look like like what was what what preparation did you do for it yeah, i've i've started applying like 15th day when i came here because i've heard like a lot of stories about the people like how difficult it is to get internship here and i've started applying right away when, <laughs> when i when i came here yeah and and luckily i i, I got a I, I got an internship in november when i i came here in august i i got an internship in november in bosch uh, in sunnyvale here yeah but i went to my advisor and i like i told them like I got an internship. Can I start working in December? They actually, I got I got an internship in Bosch. 
mm. and they wanted me to uh, start working in december and since since i am an international student you uh, need since uh, i am an international student uh, you need like you need to survive here 9 months to right. work off campus yeah yeah so they told me that I, i cannot start working in december so i had to i had to tell my recruiter that i cannot start working and that i had to let go of that internship so and but i i i, could, I, I didn't stop applying for internship uh, as far as i know i think i am the only person in my whole batch who got like around 25 to 27 internship calls what <laughs> trust me yes i had a relevant experience in supply chain management you know for more than 2 years that helped me a lot and yeah. just and There's there's one more thing that I did. I went to career center like a lot of times. <laughs> I, mean, I used to bother, I used to bother them a lot. Like every single day, I used to lot. I used to ask them a lot of questions. Would this resume get me a job? Would this resume get me get me a job? What are the things that I need to add here? What are the keywords that I need to add here? And how should I how should I make it look like? Uh, in like which field that I should get a, get a job in? Like, I used to ask them a lot a lot a lot of questions. So that made my resume like really. Uh, like oh, pickable yeah in terms of uh, internships yeah and since i used like i used to apply a lot a lot i mean i used to apply at least 60 to 70 jobs per day wow so moving on to your internship search so you got a lot of interview calls and you had to decline the first one because you cannot start so how so let's talk about the one which you did accept uh, in summer <laughs> i got a call on uh, in january and Uh, they took like around three to four interviews uh, of around forty-five minutes each. And so, and the the role was a business analyst or t- supply chain analyst? No, it was a, a freight operations intern. Oh, okay. It was it was kind of supply chain management intern. Got it. Okay. Uh, and what was the interviews like? Uh, about uh, FedEx interviews? Yeah. Uh, well. initial uh, on my first interview they were just like for my in- introduction you know like what were my uh, previous background what were my experiences uh, what softwares uh, that i that i have worked on what kind of experience that i have like that first interview was just introduction and second interview was uh, about different scenarios like be- behavioral questions like how do you uh, how do you uh, Work or how would you approach to this? Uh, qu- how how do you approach this problem? How do you solve mm-hmm. this problem? Like that. Education. They they gave me a lot of scenarios about different right. supply chain management, and they wanted me to. Uh, they were they they just want to see like how would I approach that problem, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. So say, it's first was about introduction, second was about behavioral, and uh, third was about just HR. Like, uh, what what is my visa status here? Uh, can I work like twenty hours or forty hours per week like that? Yeah. What kind of preparation did you do for for this interview? Because one is to get the interview, second is to crack the interview. How did exactly. you What kind of prep did you do for the the interviews? Well, I just made sure that I I know every single thing that I have mentioned in resume. Mm. That's the first thing that you can do. Because yeah. you you cannot just write anything in a resume and not know not know anything about it, right? That yeah. would just that would just throw the recruiters off and they would know that you are faking it. Right. Because recruiters, they normally interview a lot of people. They would just know by just talking to you for a few minutes. They would just know like how much do you know about this thing. Yeah. So, uh, in at at career center, if you go to the career center, they would help you a lot. Mm. To uh, whether it would be your about your resume, the content that you're gonna put in your resume, whether it, whether it would be your uh, LinkedIn profile, they would uh, they would uh, take a picture of you uh, like uh, in a suit. and they would just tell you to you know post on linkedin wow okay they were free of cost i mean they they won't charge you anything for that right so right. they would tell you everything about uh, linkedin profile how to maintain a linkedin profile how to maintain your resume uh, how to look for a job uh, what job board that you are going that you are going to use uh, uh, that, that you can use for job uh, search like that they the main thing the uh, the people that are there to help you yeah and this, i think the student The the only thing for students to uh, remain is to just ask them different questions and yeah. take advantage of it. Yeah. So now now you are looking for business analyst, data analyst, uh, kind of full time role. What kind yes. of prep are you like? What kind of preparation have you done for that? Uh, I did online courses on Udemy, Coursera. Uh, I learned SQL. Uh, I'm I'm currently learning Python. So mm. I'm. Have learned Tableau, data visualization uh, tool. 
uh, I've gone through different uh, job pro job uh, the description of business and uh, business analysis jobs, and I've talked to a lot of people who are business analysts and who are working here full time in different companies, and I just asked them like, what do they, what do they do like uh, on daily basis? Like what? Uh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. So what kind of software that they use in their companies, and what kind of job that they do? uh like what skills that i need to get to to get there to to get, to get yeah. those kind of jobs so you are basically you are like learning what they do uh taking the job description and they're saying this 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 things so you're you're learning that you're and then you are putting it in your resume that hey exactly. i exactly so exactly that, yes yeah. thanks again for doing this uh do you have any anything else you want to add to this uh, for any tips or any suggestions for students who are right now looking for job or planning to come i would just say keep trying yeah <laughs> i mean you're here to enjoy the whole ms in us just just don't get discouraged by pe- different people here just, just, just don't discourage uh, if, if you don't get any opportunity here just keep on trying and once you at the right time at the uh, at, if once you meet the right people at the right time you will definitely get your chance yeah. so just keep on trying all right <laughs> Until our next one. Keep hustling, keep smiling. <laughs> nah. <laughs>